as I mentioned in my last in the last module where I was showing you how to select cases or sort of particular cases you're going to look at this one's going to this this module is going to help you comparing different groups so at its simplest we may want to compare countries yeah first I'm going to show you something simple and then it's going to get more difficult so here we have the data set again you're familiar with that so we go to data and then we do the following we split the file so that it goes in three different directions split file country compare groups now let's make sure that that comes in here and then we say okay and then we can do descriptive statistics frequencies now usual challenge find something really fast okay I had something here before which I'm gonna use now how important is religion in making decisions for the respondent I already had that entered here from before let's just take a look at that look at the output and here it comes you see the comparison between the countries it's actually interesting it yields difference differences here and oops very important in Armenia 27 percent in Azerbaijan 23 and in Georgia 46 yeah so that's interesting interesting output so here quick way as said of comparing countries or comparing groups you go to data split file and then play around with that now let's imagine you want to do something else and what you want to do now is you want to see compare women and men in Georgia so what would you do we would go to select cases we just want to take a look at Georgia so country you'll remember equals three three standing for Georgia so continue the others are filtered okay great now we want to compare man and women then we go to split file and then it depends really whether you want to look at the household respondents or the individual respondents remember those may be different people and if we just look at the individual respondents that will tell us about the um, their attitudes towards uh, towards social and political issues we need to go down a little bit here sex of individual respondent yeah compare groups this is important that you get this right otherwise you get this sex of the household head and it's not really the individual respondent you're looking at so you have to go a little bit down and then let's play the same thing sort of importance of religious so you've seen the the frequencies already that's already how important is religion just try that out of course you can pick anything else you want and this is now just for Georgia it's not mentioned here so you have to be careful that you you remember that this is that it's been pre-selected and here we can see very important 51 percent for 51 percent of women and only for 39 percent of men yeah and let's go back once more and do one more here just out of curiosity analyze descriptive free frequencies now here's a neat trick for getting back to the same cluster of questions you just bring it back and then you that puts you on the same sort of line here and then how often does the respondent pray and then you see a fascinating difference here that in Georgia I've looked at that before so I know a little more here and in Georgia 14 percent 15 percent of men tell you they're praying every day but actually 34 percent of women tell you that they're praying every day so there's a very very big difference here gender difference okay just to walk through that once more how that works the key is on the data that you split the file according to whatever you want individual respondent or country sometimes you need to pre-select the particular type of group you're going to look at 
in a, one country, otherwise it gets mixed up. And in case you want to go back here, is you just do reset. It yields very neat output, very easy to compare, and yet another example of how SPSS is a lot easier than it seems at first. Hope you found that useful, and the next installment we're going to show you how to recode uh, particular values. Let's imagine, for example, you have age groups where people say their year of birth, and you can't just have every single year of birth there, and you need to recode and sort of regroup that in order to put that into simpler categories. Again, that's easy, and we're happy to share that with you, and hope you'll find it interesting.